Iron Brago fully maxed out. We have him right here. We're going to take him for a spin. So a huge shout out to Mr. Fatville from the Gallifrey Cluster for letting me do this on his account because uh, obviously this is not my own. So let's jump right in. Before we get started on some testing, I want to quickly go over his kit in case you guys did not know about his multipliers. They are apparently very high. So what I have here for you guys is examples of who they compare to. Uh, apparently, the A1 is as strong as the Alton A1, which is a multiplier of 3.3 times the defense. As for the A2, also apparently similar to Alton at a 5.6 defense multiplier. And then we've got the A3, which is apparently similar to Martyr at a four times defense the multiplier so guys this guy can hit we even have all the skills maxed out on this account his kit is pretty nice we have a almost guaranteed stun on the a2 a 60% increased defense buff on all allies for three turns. We also have an AoE provoke at a 75% chance of happening. On top, we might get a 50% decreased attack if he's already under an increased defense buff. We have an increased defense passive for all our champions. We also have an increased defense aura for the Doom Tower. This guy is a beast. As for the Masteries, here are the ones that he picked. He is letting me choose the tier six. I think I'm going to go with Helm Smasher. I just want to see the biggest possible numbers on this guy and then for the gear let's go over the total stats here we have about 43,000 total hp 4.6 k defense 167 speed so relatively low but we do have 100 crit rate 253 percent crit damage and 244 accuracy to do this he worked with two pieces of speed two pieces of divine speed and then two pieces of crit damage the pieces here real quick we have speed crit rate attack uh which is a little bit useless for the attack but that's all right we have crit rate very very nice crit damage accuracy right there crit damage speed crit rate some resistance six star crit damage gloves obviously with a very nice roll of defense percent some crit rate defense percent chest crit rate accuracy we have some defense percent boots nice so he went all out for the defense percent flat defense ring we have a crit damage amulet and we have and accuracy banner so very reasonable stats and hopefully this is going to allow to see just how strong he is and to showcase that let's start with with an arena battle we have relatively easy teams here i just want to make sure i get around to my iron brago which is relatively um slow we're also setting him up for success we're gonna have decreased defense weaken and increased defense from draw cool to gaunt so let's go into this fight right here hopefully we are able to apply all our debuffs uh this is a high resistance team so let's see what we get decreased defense weaken right there Do we get them all and almost all of them we don't have it on this miscreated monster here so we'll have to pay attention to that hit it's also going to be a weak hit possibly increased defense from drop gold to gaunt that's why i put that guy on the team and now we're going to go directly into his a3 we want to see that hit here we go boom 107k on that drop gold to gaunt probably didn't have a lot of defense but man that guy can hit he can hit he can one shot teams that was the proof right there let's do another battle here hopefully something else we can handle with this team how about how about this here at the bottom hopefully they are slower and we can make it to our iron brago we also have a rotos in there which could be dangerous but let's try it anyway okay so we are faster we're going to speed boost yep then we are going to apply aoe decrease defense and weaken sorry here we go we get them all we got them all so that's good increase defense right here boom and let's go for that big hit again what are we gonna get bam that's right bam i mean this guy can hit it is really impressive the amount of damage he can deal one thing i will say though i tried him in another team i put it on auto he does not always go for his a3 first in fact he i think is going to go for his a2 first on auto that is a problem I don't know what controls that. It might be certain affinity champions on the enemy team. So you do want to be careful with that. If you set this guy up to, let's say, be on your defense team, you might not be getting what you um, thought you would, right? So there we go. That was pretty reasonable as well. Let's see. Maybe we can do one more fight here in the arena. And finally, after a couple refreshes, I think I might have found a team that is worth taking on. We'll do this right here. We have a warlord in the lead as well as a lot of force champions. So we even have the affinity advantage on on top of all this let's see what we can do against this big team right here you do have a couple shields on as well so let's speed boost 
Yup, we get that. Let us apply our decrease defense and weaken. Hopefully we get it on most of them. We do get it on basically all of them. Perfect. One more big buff here, here, sorry, for the increased defense. And then once again, that big hit. Let's see what we can get. Pay attention to this Mountain King. We want to see that guy go down, hopefully. Almost. We got a 70k on the big guy. We do get this one to revive, though. Oh, we didn't die. Okay, they weren't that strong, I guess. Here we go. We're going to finish this. I'm going to put it on auto. Let this finish. Two times multiplier. And then we're going to showcase him somewhere else. We want to see how useful he is in some dungeons or perhaps the Doom Tower. So let's start with a run of the Ice Golem. It seems convenient. We do have a tournament ongoing right now. This is a very fancy team. I'm not going to lie, but hopefully we can see this guy in action. Let's slow it down once we get around to his turn here. Uh, our Septimus is basically killing them all. And I think our Duchess is fast enough to lap this guy. Or might have missed his first hit. Boom, right there. 83k, and we got about a 50k hit on this champ. And I don't think decrease defense was on that one. But we are bringing at least the right debuffs. We sadly do not have... Oh, we do have increased defense. Uh, because he can do it by himself, right? So you might not need to bring such a champion to your team. Let's say you're going to run him in a similar team as this. So let's try and speed this up. Wait for his turn. Not quite. Next one. See what he's going to do. What kind of damage we're going to get from his skills. Right there. Boom, 60k from that what seems to be the A1. So again, very reasonable. This guy can hit. I mean, he can hit really, really hard. I also want to see his utility. Are we going to get any sort of like stuns out of this? Are we going to cycle back around on this wave right here? Maybe not. We lost our Septimus. Shouldn't be a problem. We got Fueler Star. Boom, 173k right there. That was his A2. So man, that can hit. That is a one-shot kill, I think, for a lot of enemies. And then right there, his big AoE, 140k, 105k. He can really hit. He is very, very impressive. Let's see how this plays out against the boss here. Our Septimus is obviously going to do a lot of the work here, but still, right there. No buffs on, 42k, or no debuffs, really. That's good. Very reasonable. Let's see if we can come back alive with our Duchess on the, uh, what is it, the Draco Morph. That's what we're missing right now. Big hit right there, 90k once again without any debuffs on. Um, so very, very impressive. I like it. I think he is very worth it for any account that is just starting out. Even for an account as old as, let's say, this one or even mine. I think he's going to do a lot of great things. All right. Let's see this play out. He's about to go. I think big hit right there. Boom. Okay, we're still alive. Holy. That Septimus can hit. I got to build mine for this. We got a big stun right there. That's huge. That is good. Even though it's a single target stun, sometimes it's enough to allow you to get control of the fight, which is what we want. But we want to see that play out in the Doom Tower as well, which is the last thing we'll do right after this. Our Duchess is doing a great job as, at keeping us alive, though. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty huge. Um, just about to go again. Decrease defense and weaken right there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, not quite yet. Next turn. What are we up? We have our A2 that is up. So he's obviously going to go for that. He's going to go for one of the minions. Boom, 200k there again. A lot of damage. That is beautiful. Okay, let's finish this and then go into the Doom Tower. So guys, um, if you are able to complete this fusion, I will also point out though that he is a little bit harder so far from what I've seen with the number of fragments or the milestone rewards. I'll cover that separately though. Now on to floor 85 of the hard Doom Tower. We are going to put him in the lead. His usual team on this account was Lysandra lead and we had a Rodos there, but we're going to run with his actual team. We want to see how uh, good of a replacement he is as a damage dealer. We're also going to take advantage of that aura let's go in there put this on auto i'm not sure if we're going to do the whole run but we just want to see this sort of play out and uh, what he can do all right so let's slow this down for the first wave here and uh, see what we get probably going to lead for boom his a2 once again so it does look like he always goes for his A2 first. Again, as I said, when he was in the arena, that might be a little bit of a problem if you're going to try and put this on auto, hoping that you're going to get that AoE nuke right off the bat. So maybe certain conditions will impact that. If you guys find out more information about that, please let us know in the comments below so we can let everybody know. We got an AoE provoke there from our Krisk. That is good. We get control. So obviously he's not, I'm going to say, exactly a dedicated crowd control champion. I see him more as a big damage dealer right now also providing a little bit of extra utility survivability but mostly there to kill let's see what we get out of his next uh, ability which i think he's coming up right there no next one here we go and we're gonna get an a1 
boom 29k with only decreased defense i mean it's reasonable uh is this on par with let's say a rotos or, or, or something of the sort maybe not but again very very different right so still quite useful i'm gonna speed this up a little bit and then we're gonna see uh, what else we get out of him all right so here we have him about to go for his aoe against all these champions we do have three of them that are weak affinity they do have decreased defense though uh this one has decreased defense let's see what kind of damage we can get from this for the doom tower boom we had 55k on that xavier but we had smaller hits on these three champions right there so again he can deal some damage if you have a lot of survivability you can keep this guy alive he might be able to do the work for you on normal doom tower this guy is going to be huge for you guys who are just starting out really really solid champion let's speed this up a little bit more yet again now here we are on the second wave we have his a1 coming up so i want to see that how it hits we get boom a very reasonable 32k damage on that xavier with a decreased defense we did not have our increased defense let's speed this up again and now we're back to him he has his a2 coming up and i think this is the best part of him it's the fact that you get this nice buff first and then you attack right which deals even more damage therefore you don't really need an increased defense champion extra on this team because he can do it but for the arena that's my only uh sort of like criticism about him is that if you want to set him up for his a3 first he's still not going to do that because of the way his ai works so it's not a dedicated nuker for the arena that is not where i think he is going to shine it is really for things like this for progression the doom tower the dungeons still he is absolutely amazing i know i've been saying it many times but guys this is a good fusion he is a really good fusion good multipliers good utility uh good aura good passive he is worth it so hopefully you can all get him make sure you join my discord if you want to have access to that fusion plan i do make a free-to-play approach to fusing him has nothing to do with me not putting money into the game and saying uh free to play or whatever it just has to do with trying to get the easiest fragments first we break it down day by day and then so hopefully you guys are able to get it as well now all that being said guys i'm gonna end it here hopefully you've learned something let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later